Welcome to our lesson about moving and copying events. Let's say I want to move all my work to start on bar 3, because I'm going to have a two-bar intro of something else. We'll begin by choosing the Object Selection tool from the toolbar. Ensure that you've got the regular tool, not one of these other sub-options below. Now let's go to the horizontal pop-up menu and select Zoom Full. Click at an empty part of the project window and drag to select the events that I want to move. I release the mouse button and all the events, even that are partially within my selection window, are now selected. Let's zoom in a bit. Just activate the Zoom tool and click on any of the events that we have selected. Notice that all of my items still remain selected. Object Selector. Now left-click and drag out to bar 3 to reposition. And our events move. Click in a blank part of the project window to unselect everything. Moving an event to another track is easy also. With the Object Selection tool active, left-click on the event you want to move and drag it to its desired location on another track. Release your mouse button to reposition it. As you saw, Cubase created a new track for the event. Let's undo that move. Copying events is a pretty convenient way to reuse your existing audio files. There's a few different methods. First, you can select the event and then choose Copy from the Edit menu. Let's go to Edit, Copy. Before you copied, make sure that you had the right track selected as well. Now position your cursor where you want to paste the event and select the track on which you want to paste the event. You can also insert a new track if you like. Let's place another audio track. And choose Paste from the Edit menu to paste the event. And our copied event appears on the new track with the exact same file name as the original. Let's undo the paste with a Control Z or Edit and Undo. And let's undo the new track as well. As a shortcut, you can also drag the event while holding down the Alt key on your PC or the Option key on your Mac. Keep the mouse button down until you're ready to release the copy in its new location. Don't worry about the scissors icon that appears. See how it changes to an arrow with a plus sign indicating that we're copying. And then just drop it wherever you want to release it. Let's undo. While you're holding down the Alt or Option key and dragging, press the Control or Command key on your keyboard. This locks your copy vertically with the original so that you won't be able to move it horizontally at all. Release your mouse button to place the event. And let's undo that with a Control Z. And this concludes our lesson about how to move or copy events in Cubase.